okay here we, here it's um we I mean I added another capacitor this one's bigger just to test bigger capacitance on um the plates and uh, I just use the same one here for the regular voltage but I just want to see if maybe if a bigger capacitor does a difference it has a difference but it seems like all it does is absorbs the voltage and doesn't I mean it doesn't have any type of current or anything to give a push so uh, it, it, what's a strange thing is too is that when it um sometimes when it charges like it'll charge like to 10 volts in like um like an hour which seems like you know shocking but um it doesn't have any like power to it and um Sometimes if you like, I've been letting it charge for four days because all my tests have been going so far. I just do do four days because you know I don't want to take too much time to do one thing and then I just you know show little different things. And um, so <clears throat> so like sometimes as it's going up during the day, it will it'll go up to like you know like ten volts and sometimes it'll go down to eight and it'll go back up again. And know uh, maybe that's to do with the weather too. But um. What I got so far on this test, so I started like I actually I technically started on the tenth at ten ten twenty six order, and um, so yeah, like zero volts, and then I started letting it charge, and then it ended up during that day, and up. Well, I ended up getting like nine volts. No, like the eleventh. I didn't really like test it that good. Like I didn't keep track of this time because I was doing other things. But I got nine volts, and then um, yeah, like sometimes it go down to like six volts. That's just the current in the smaller ca capacitor. And then, and then it went to seven volts again. And then it went to ten volts. And that's the third, uh, fourth day. So I was like this morning <laughs> and then um like right well right now I just tested it and it was like 8 volts so it's weird it fluctuates a lot um I guess I'll show you the buzzer test that I've been showing you to um show that there's something there but this time I'm this, this isn't really going to be good result but I don't know the first time I tried it and, just get a good view. Alright, so I'm about to connect it to that side. Yeah, like you don't hear anything. That's how weak it is. Maybe this way. Yeah, there's, there's nothing to it. Voltage is like, it's just voltage. Oh well. That was something. <laughs> Maybe it discharged it too fast too. Hmm, I don't know. Well, that's really it for this one. I just wanted to finish up doing a different capacitor test. Okay, here's my PowerPoint presentation. But um, but uh, capacitors. You know, I just tested the three over like a two week period about. And um, I was testing the medium size because I was just thinking that maybe you know a bigger capacitor, you know, give me stuff. And I ended up having um, a slow charge, and it was at the end of a four-day period. It was 6.5 volts, and it had the ability to, um, you know, push current and able to make sound for a longer time. And yeah, I said it has some current, and then like. I was I tested like smaller ones. The small ones they fast charge, like they'll go up to like seven volts. I got about, and that's like under like an hour. Like it's really fast, but there's no current, and it's a small little thing, so it's not gonna have that much once it's charged, anyways. And then so then I moved on to a big one, and so <clears throat> this one, the large it was a fast charge, sometimes under um, two hours. Um, it got to a much higher voltage in that time, and so in uh, the four-day period I tested this was about nine volts in four days, and sometimes it went up to nine volts in like one hour, but 
you know, it wasn't, it was just weird, it just went up. And that's one of the things too, is the strange fluctuations. Sometimes <clears throat> in range of 10 volts, sometimes decreases to 7 volts, and then sometimes it will increase again. And I was wondering maybe that's because of weather. It, it was strange because, you know, so, sometimes in an hour it would charge up to like 10 volts. And then sometimes it will be a little slower. And, you know, then it will go down to like lower voltage and then come back up again. So maybe it's the weather. I don't know. <clears throat> it's, I don't know. It's, it's just weird. But, I mean, it's nice. Yeah, I got like 9 volts. It sounds better than the rest, but it seems like it has less current to push. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it can be changed. And that's basically it for using the three different capacitors.